Pat, the judge told that couple that he hopes that they wake up at night and are tortured by thoughts of what they've done to this young boy. This is a case that has really touched so many because of the sheer brutality of the torture and abuse of this young boy by the two people who should have been taking care of him. The, the conduct was horrendous and humane and nothing short of evil. After calling this the worst case of abuse he has seen in his 20 years on the bench, Judge George Lamelli sentenced Isaro Aguirre to death for torturing and murdering eight-year-old Gabriel Fernandez. His girlfriend, the boy's mother, Pearl Fernandez, received life in prison for her role. It is unimaginable the pain that this child probably endured. Gabriel had a cracked skull, broken ribs, burns, and BB pellets lodged in his body. Aguirre didn't speak in court, and neither did the boy's biological father, who is in custody on an unrelated charge. But he said he wanted to listen to the sentencing and to the other family members who spoke at the hearing. Gabriel had unconditional love for you, and you took advantage of that, knowing he will never turn you in. But Gabriel's teacher, Jennifer Garcia, did report the abuse to a hotline. However, social workers left Gabriel in the home where he was tortured and starved and eventually beaten to death by Aguirre and Fernandez. And I know I'm not alone in hoping that they experience the same abuse in their lifetime and worse. They are evil people for what they did. She described Gabriel as a kind and helpful boy. She no longer uses his student number. I don't assign number 28 to another student because I feel that it's only his number now. And it's a way for me to honor him in my classroom. Five years after the young boy's death, justice. I'm just doing my job. That's it. Deputy DA John Hatami, a father of two young children, was emotional. I think Gabriel's affected everybody, including me. Many of the family members in court today wore T-shirts with a little boy's picture on the front that said, Justice for Gabriel on the back. They read, It's not over. Trials are now planned for the social workers and their supervisor. I'll send it back to you in the studio.